What's up everybody? Welcome back to my kitchen where safety is number one priority and today I'm going to put to the test egg peeling gadgets. Let's see what I got this time. For the first gadget looks like a 3D printed egg peeler. Instruction is really simple, says shake it 12 to 15 times and not too hard. Okay, so the egg is going to go inside here, almost don't fit and let's try to shake it, see what happens. I wonder which way. Has it been 15 time? Looks like it's coming out, all the shells. I'm trying not to do it too hard. That's been about 15 times. Okay, and wow, that actually works so well. I can't believe it. Definitely thumbs up for me. So that was actually amazing. Let's start with another egg. See if it works again. Again, not too hard. Maybe it takes more than 12 to 15 times, but it's up to you. I wanna shake it a bit better. I guess I could put hand this way, but I wanna show you guys that the egg does not fall out and how it spills. This is cool. Now I can take the egg out. And by the way, very important, like they say it here, after boiling your eggs for 12 minutes, that's how long I did mine, run it under cold water, so that way they peel easily. But wow, every time, that's an amazing egg peeler. The name of this gadget is Egglet Egg Peeler. For the next egg peeler, I got two different type of egg peeler. They're pretty similar. This one kind of comes in two. Both of them kind of look like a spoon. But this one also a spoon and at the same time a cracker on the other side. Good luck opening this one. There you go. It comes with one of these holders. You can remove it like that. So you can crack an egg in half. So I'm going to use this bigger eggs. And as you can see, it can crack it right in the middle. One, two, three, four, five six and then because there is a nice line you can just stick this spoon side and peel it so easily boom so is this one this is definitely a nice way to peel the eggs all the way through boom wash it off the extra ones let's do another egg but this time i'm gonna do the darker egg different egg maybe even a bit smaller so as you can see, it cracked all the way through. Now I can stick this under and wiggle it through. And now it's easy to go around and separate it, the egg. This one a bit more stubborn. Let me go through here. Boom, remove it. Nice. Now this side, remove it. Awesome, again, wash off all these little shells very good now this one don't have anything like that so you will have to maybe crack it on a table all the way around let's see if it's going to make any difference doesn't really make too much difference ah, i probably kind of stub it too a little bit yeah i messed it up on this side because the end is pointy, so I kind of don't like that. Let's try another egg. I don't know why would they make a sharp pointy end, because it's easy to stop to the egg. Okay, let's do this again. Easy. What about this side? Easy. Boom. Definitely works as well, but I do enjoy this one a little bit better because it's just so much easier to crack it like that and then you have a line to separate the shell from one two very easy so if i would have to choose from these two i would go with that one for sure the next gadget this is a scene on tv it's pretty old gadget it's only cost five dollars this is egg stretcher at least this is the name of it. How it works, you're going to crack an egg a little bit and then push it out, out of this shelf. Let's see if it actually works. 
I have put to the test this gadget before. It's so awesome. It was like three, four years ago. So let's do this again, see if it still work. As you can see, it's much, much bulkier egg peeler. But this is how we're going to use it. Okay, let's see how it works. You start with a smaller egg right here. You cut, crack the bottom of it, put it in like this, put it in and go all the way. Woo! <laughs> that slipped for sure. I probably destroyed the egg too. That was a huge fail. Maybe that's why they did it on a cutting board. Okay, let's try this again. That was funny though. I don't know if this egg will work anymore, but we'll try it anyways. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> It's exploded, it kind of worked, but shell's supposed to stay intact here somewhere. We'll try it again, that was so much fun, but as you can see it worked. So once again, this is a bigger egg, let's see if it works better with bigger eggs. Crack the bottom of the egg, don't even have to peel anything out, I think. Oh my gosh, it worked! Look at that. You know what? I'm gonna do it a little bit better. I'm gonna crack the bottom of the egg. Let me move. And just remove that bottom a little bit. By the way, very important, you wanna crack it on a large side of the egg. Then, I'm gonna place the egg into here. See if it's going to make any difference. Whoa, do you hear how they pop every single time? I mean, it, it kind of works. It's supposed to pop and peel all the way. So, kind of fail, kind of works, but that's so much fun. Let me try it again. It makes such a big mess right now. But yeah, definitely cutting board works really well. I'm gonna take the bottom of the egg and peel it off real quickly. Then I'm gonna go real quick down. With those bigger eggs, it definitely works better. Doesn't really peel it all the way, but easy to peel for sure. One last one, just because this is so much fun. This one, last one, I'm not even going to take off the shell. I'm just gonna go like that. Missed it. No, it didn't miss it. Oh my gosh, it worked. Last one works so well. Look at the shelf right here and look at this egg. Wow, let's see if I can repeat that. Another big egg right here. Just crack the bottom and don't worry about it. Put it in here, nothing else. And smash it. Ooh, that one worked too. Not as good as the last one, but as you can see, that's definitely a lot of fun. This is more like a kitchen toy. But yeah, that's a mess right here, oh well. I have another egg peeler. This one look like this. You put it inside of this little plastic jar. So far, I don't know which egg peeler is the best. Let me know in comments below. Pretty sure you add a little bit of water. Then you stick an egg. Then close the lid. And yep, you add water for sure. You can even see it in the picture. And then shake it. That's nice. It's sealed and guess what? It's already peeled. I'm gonna do it all the way. All the way out of the... Oh no! You know what? Don't shake it too hard because eggs explode. Okay, take two. Not as hard this time. It is similar to the first gadget, except you add water in. Okay, that's the best it's going to do. Now we can take the egg out. And boom, it's peeled. Pretty awesome. But what if you need to peel multiple amount of eggs at the same time? Well, guess what? I have a little bigger peeler. Actually, this is also a single egg peeler. But maybe not. Let's try it out. I'm going to add two eggs in this one, because it's bigger, you probably can add two eggs. Oh, adds a little bit of water and close it like that, and then it's tell me to shake it this way. 
I cannot see what's going on in there, so I'm gonna shake it for a little bit, not too hard. Let's open it, and guess what? It's pretty much peeled. Maybe just help it out. Peeled egg. This one on the bottom is peeled all the way. A little bit messed up compared to the second one or the first one, but yeah. That's how it works. But what if you need to peel even more eggs at the same time? Let's see if I have anything like that. Well, guess what? I have egg stripper gadget. You can looks like put four eggs at the same time pretty easily. At least that's what they advertise on the picture. I'm gonna go with four eggs at the same time as well. Very simple instruction. Water line is over there. Obviously you want to do it, measure it on a table, flat surface. Okay, we got here four eggs and let's close it tight. Pretty simple to close it. Does it leak? Doesn't look like it. And how do we shake? Looks like you hold it like that and shake it. Cool. Not too hard, not too easy. I know, looks like it's all peeled up already. I didn't even have to go that long, I think. One fully peeled egg, two fully peeled egg, three fully peeled egg, and fourth one almost fully, but not all the way. You know what? Fourth one was the best. Some of them kind of got messed up a little bit because I was shaking it too hard and this is all shells. You know what? Let me go again, but not as hard and not as long. Closed all the way so I don't spill it everywhere. Go like that. Looks like they all peeled already. So yeah, first time I was definitely going too hard at it and because I didn't Go too hard, look at that. Perfect peeled eggs and not demolished like first time I did. Look at that, peels just come off. Not too bad, I'd say that's definitely easy. Just remember, the trick of uh, easy peeling eggs is place them after boiling in it, right after, place them in the cold water and even add ice into it. So that way you'll have easy peeled eggs and that way this gadget will work every time pretty much I would say. I have a couple more boiled eggs. Let me show you how cool this gadget is. No water required, makes a bit of mess. But look at that. You keep going and your egg is peeled. Nice. Get destroyed at the top a bit. So again, the trick is not to go too much and too hard or too long. Just keep going 15 times, take it out and it should easy come off, boom. Anyways, let me know in comments below which gadget was your favorite. Well guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know in comments below what do you think about this video. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time.